Hello and welcome by the Arcade Saga. My name is Joachim Wiesma and today I'm going to repot these uh, two Miltonias uh, that I did bought f uh, f uh, last time when I was visiting the Landsbergen open house. So you probably saw them already. Speaking of which, uh, I already did some repots. I just don't have the time to film all of them. Plus I think I did a lot of repotting uh, the last couple of weeks and last year. So if you really want to understand the system and uh, I not have the particular plant, I probably already have a video about it. Let me know in the comments if you're looking for something particularly. Uh, otherwise I just try to do as much as I can. But like I said, it's just uh, difficult time-wise because these videos do take quite some time uh, filming and uh, there are a lot of steps that need to be done before uh, the uppotting etc included actually and the flushing etc so i have to do quite a lot of uh, things and that takes time and if i don't do it on on camera it, it goes twice as quick probably uh, three times as quick anyhow i love making the videos don't get me wrong but yeah it's just a simple time issue so i try to choose some uh, plants that uh, i think that might be uh, quite nice to film i hope i do well uh, of course, but like I said, uh, leave me uh, a comment if you want to know a particular orchid, etc. For now, uh, just let have a look at these two. I might cut off the spikes, I'm not sure yet. It depends on how the root system looks like, but probably will cut some spikes. Who knows? So uh, let's uh, put this one to the side and we're going to start with this one, the first one. And just uh, take it out of the pot and have a look what's inside are we fully in frame yes i think we are so here she is with her beautiful balloons <laughs> first take the steak out of the way like that so we have a new growth here one here and one here so that's already three and number four is over there so this one is uh, really trying to uh, grow and get even bigger and we have some ferns in there. <laughs> let's take them out. And let's start with uh, taking them out of the pot. I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. Uh, and try to zoom in. I always choose the wrong side. <laughs> Zooming in, there we go. So we have a bit of a vision of what is going on here because this is the important part at this moment. We want to know how the root system is on this orchid. And there we go. Oops, beautiful. Look at that. That is looking very beautiful. Coco peat, it's in. Yeah, and I'm going to damage roots. I'm going to damage them. Yeah, the, the pretty uh, side of the orchids with a good root system is that they are strong. The downside for me is to transfer them in another system. I, I, I rather had orchids with uh, a f little less of a big root system or younger plants. Are, those are a little bit easier. This will work, of course, and this, especially with Miltonias, if they have a good root system to start with, they, they might lose quite a few, but they will take over again because they are very healthy. And I, I, uh, my Miltonias do very well, actually. So I don't, uh, but I'm, I'm, yeah, like I am said, I'm going to break a few of these uh, roots for sure. <laughs> and while I'm talking, I'm just squeezing a little bit and this type of motion I'm uh, making inside of the media to let it uh, fall out. And you can see it's just almost uh, like dirt at this moment. So I think she doesn't mind to get out of this because this is, will not work in my system. And in most systems, in most cases, it will not work this type of media for orchids but somehow in the uh, nurseries they make it work I'm not sure how but they do and they don't want to tell me <laughs> it's a secret i think i'm not sure maybe you guys know more about this i'm not sure you may want to leave it in a comment uh, in a comment because we can uh, then we all can read it why they specifically use this cocoa peat stuff for orchids because I don't think they like it as much but still they grow probably the only thing I can it pops in mind because we're now speaking of it maybe uh, younger orchids more the seedling types do like this type of media and uh, the older they get they might 
want to use or have more air around the roots. I'm not completely sure, but maybe that's the case. And that's why they need to sell them now. <laughs> In bloom. <laughs> like I said, I'm not sure. Just guessing here. And yes, I will have it under the tap. But I try to take off as much as I can. Because I, I have this filter type in my uh, sink, uh, because otherwise I will uh, clog my uh, pipes, of course. <laughs> so I don't try to overdo it, but this, yeah, I think I'm going to uh, to take it under the tap. You know what, we, we need to try that, because oh, I see a lot of growing tips and I, I want to use them. <laughs> but yeah, on the other hand, but it's cocoa peat, so it probably will uh, wash off but we also have a little bit of um, moss here a moss plug when it was very young so that can go I think uh, mm, yeah ooh, that's not good <laughs> that's not smelling good that's not smelling good um, can I pull through I'm looking for holes here in that root system just to gently try to get the media out and once you have a start it will get a bit easier but this process sometimes takes a little bit uh, of time hence why I just cannot film them all you guys I wish I could I wish I could I'm really enjoying this filming and having the channel and sort of chatting to you guys <laughs> It's very nice. It's very uh, inspiring having an orchid channel, I must say. But yeah, we ha also have a job, of course. And Wednesdays is my watering day. Today is Wednesday. <laughs> so I watered in my orchids this morning. And then I need to do some housekeeping, which I, which I did. And to be honest, yesterday, yes, Thursday, yeah, yesterday evening I did uh, also some housekeeping just to save some time to make these videos. Uh, things we do. Once again, I liked it. I like it. Not a problem, but still, yeah. So a lot of planning is uh, behind these videos, you guys. Okay, I'm going to leave this one for now. We're going to take it on the tap. But before we do that, let's grab the other one. I think... I it's this it's a similar situation so let's uh, unpot her for first as well you see this the other one this one has one two three four new growths yeah same amount which is pretty good not bad so let's first take this takes off oh. I bet this one has some roots as well, because these stakes are uh, really pushed in there. Um, yeah, new roots coming, so it's a perfect time. If we, uh, I'm sorry, don't scream. <laughs> if we uh, lose some roots, where is my camera not focusing? There we go. We will have new ones on the way, so it's always good to know, of course. Because, like I said, I'm going to damage them. Well, yeah, this is quite some roots there, but not underneath in the pot as much, I think. Not sure why. Probably, yeah, you see? There's a lot of media coming off. This one is a bit easier, like I said with the first one. This one doesn't have as many roots. It's just a bit easier to get, take the media off. That's the only... Uh, plus from uh, from arcus with not much roots they're just a bit easier to repot but once again this looks very promising it has quite some roots here so once it's stabilized in the new situation it probably will take off yeah i don't know what it is but my miltonius especially this year are doing very very well they did do well last year of course but they uh they seem to grow even bigger. So probably the uh, temperature and the light levels are very suitable for my uh, for Miltonias. 
And this is actually a division. We have quite a uh, rhizome here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is a rhizome just underneath my thumb. So this is not a young, uh, but it's just a division from a older plant. Maybe that's why there are not that much, are that many uh, roots were underneath inside of the pot like the other one. Because this just is grown on from a division, I'm not sure, but, but still we do have a bit of moss there, strangely. And yeah, these roots are dead, so we can take those off. So yeah. Today it's a very nice sunny day here in the Netherlands, which makes me really happy. I don't, I'm not sure how about you guys, but I love, love summer and spring, the nicer days in spring, of course. Spring is so beautiful because everything outside starts to grow again. It's sort of magic for me. It's so, so beautiful and I don't know why, but it makes me really happy and I'm, yeah, just a little bit of extra energy, I'm not sure. But I hear a lot of people have that. Not all of them. I just recently had a little uh, conversation with somebody that uh, really loved the winter. I was like, uh, sorry? <laughs> because, the, because of the very cozy nights with the family around the table. And yeah, I kind of get that. But to be honest, just cutting off the old roots, I uh, definitely prefer more sun. So yeah, it's, I grew up in the Netherlands, but otherwise I could have uh, lived in another place on earth <laughs> with more sun, warmer temperatures. I very do well with the warmer temperatures, not extremely hot of course, but yeah, let's take this one at the sink as well. So I'm going to grab the camera and we're going to, uh, to the sink and see if we can uh, get that last uh, pieces of media. So yeah, I'm sorry for the extra noises. <laughs> we are now at the sink, as you can see. And I'm just uh, using this sprayer. And it has quite some pressure to it, but it's very uh, handy to uh, clean up the roots here. And I hope you can see it on camera. It's getting now a bit too warm. We don't wanna Use too warm we uh, water, of course. Let me uh, see if I can make a little bit more room here. There's a little bit of clump there. Media and roots. <laughs> Probably. Let's try again. coming off it's coming off but as you can see it takes some time <laughs> like I did mention already of course but yeah and I cannot do it quicker because otherwise I will break so many roots I and I still do but I try to uh, avoid a massive root breaking <laughs> situation but yeah Apparently both of them do like to make roots. We have a, a lot of them. One more time. Spray. might leave it like this we have still some media in there where is my camera i'm sorry 
here but it's not that much and i think they will be fine they can push through i opened up the root system uh, there we are enough i think to get it going otherwise i will break too much so uh let's put this one to the side let's grab it quickly a pot lay her in that pot so i can grab the other one <laughs> so here we go next one Let's use the tap for this one. It goes just a little bit easier if you have running water on it. And try to loosen up the roots because the water will take the media a bit better out in between the roots. So that's how I uh, like to do it if they have this many uh, roots on them. Turning around, same situation. Yeah, it's a heck of a lot of roots. <laughs> Just in that that one area, there are a lot of roots. The newest part of the plant is that. So yeah, in between there. We don't have much anymore. Just have a last look. Yeah, I can take a little bit more off. But it might leave a bit of that media there. I didn't see any bush snails. If I see bush snails, I just go until I basically have every little piece of media off. But if I don't, I just keep an eye on them and hope for the best. <laughs> so far, it did go well. But you never know. But yeah, I found that these orchids quite often do have bush snails on them. What is that? Is that a speaking of which situation? No. <laughs> Just a little uh, tiny uh, root, I guess. Whoop, there's my camera. Just a little, I thought maybe that's a bush snail, but no, it's not. It is not, luckily. I'm sorry. Can take the sheet off here. So, are we going to back to the uh, up-putting table? Okay. So, you're back at the table. Let's have a look. Let's grab this one. First, it's the uh, second one we just did take out of the pot. The first one we did uh, flush at the tap. And, um, yeah. Let me give you a close-up. This is the root system, and you can see there's still a bit of uh, whoops, a bit of media in there, and now you can see the uh, actual uh, rhizome, old rhizome. I'm just debating if I'm going to take it off. Yes, I'm going to. And put, just grab a few leaves, but you can see I have a little bit of media left. It should be fine. If it isn't, I need to repot it again. But uh, yeah, like I said, but I'm going to take a little bit of that rhizome off because otherwise it's going to be buried fairly deep inside of the pot. So I'm going to take off and there's a lot of new roots of quite a few, I should say, <laughs> not a lot. So taking that off, you can see this part of rhizome that came off with some old roots. That's okay. Don't need those. <laughs> Let me check. Yeah, we have a nice, nice clean horizon. So what I'm going to do now is my hydrogen peroxide and I'm going to spray it. Try to spray it as much as I can. I need to check this. I see something in there. Is that a root again or is it something else? Or something else just uh, checking for the bush snails because oh I did have a lot of troubles in the beginning with bush snails I didn't know what what was happening but it were uh, turned out to be bush snails that are were eating my um, root system or the plants root systems 
So nowadays I just keep, and I prefer to have a, uh, even a bit more cleaner root system than this one, but I'm debating on what I'm seeing and I see a fairly nice strong root system. A lot of growing tips, I do not see any signs of bush snails in there. Also on the new uh, roots, they are not uh, been bitten off or anything. So that's why I chose in this case just to leave it. So the plant is, it is, uh, has a little bit, bit of extra to start again. Otherwise, I would have broken even more roots and yeah, I try to avoid it. So I just spraying that, that less of media with the hydrogen peroxide. I also spray obviously the roots in between the arcades, in between the bulbs, sheets. I take everything and I spray everything. And I already sprayed it with the oil solution. You probably can see the remains of it. That's why it's a bit shiny. But, uh, and I like to do this in the early uh, morning or in this case, in the uh, afternoon. So we have quite some hours to let those orchids dry up. And with this type of weather, my greenhouse does warm up quite quickly. So I will have enough uh, warmth and uh, air to uh, let them dry up. And we will have some uh, live moss in that pot, <laughs> which for me is a bonus. And yes, I'm going to leave the roots for now. And normally I do not share pots, but I just did, which is not the handiest, of course. Let me uh, redo this. Let's put it in her back, uh, in her back, in her own pot. I'm sorry. I was so talking. Normally I only have one plant in a tray and I use alcohol in between, but I'm now pushing, putting them back, back both. Oh. Okay, I just uh, cleaned everything up. I used my alcohol, so it should be uh, fairly uh, clean again. Let's grab this one because um, this one, yeah, has that rhizome cut. So I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon on there. I have this little glass container with a little bit of cinnamon. You don't need much. I have this for uh, two, three years. That I keep using it because we, you just need a teeny tiny bit and I'm going to put it upside down like this. Did you see that? I just turned my arcade around. So if I have a little bit too much on there, it will not fall on the root system, but here on the white paper, that's why the paper is there. And I'm just tapping it on that wound like this. And laying the tag aside to stepping the plant and it should be fine so we have a little bit of cinnamon on there i hope you can see it i don't use huge amount but just a bit oh i did miss a spot i see just a little bit extra because it's upside down there we go and i also already used the hydrogen peroxide on the wound but still some cinnamon there. So I'm going to take this and like that and I'm going to put this orchid back to the kitchen <laughs> so it can dry up a little bit more. And then we grab the other one. Let me check. I'm going to cut off this back bulb. There's some, some spots on there can see plus it has a fairly long rhizome going inside of that pot as well and while we edit just cut it off because I don't uh, need it anymore so I will do that try to make a nice clean cut with the cutters there we go yes and yeah it has a few good roots on there not the end of the world so I'm going to throw this away because it doesn't look as you can see here it's, this bulb is fairly damaged so that's why I uh, don't want it anymore uh, plus it was very low in the pot I should say that was the first and then I saw it it wasn't that healthy anyway so and now I can reach a little bit more moss and moss you guys I tried to take off 
completely if I can. And I not always can, but Moss is uh, going acidic. Probably is already because it's so old. And that is very damaging for the roots. This coconut, uh, coconut, co cocoa peat stuff, uh, not as much. It's just, it can uh, um, be uh, affecting the airflow, I think. But the moss is going to acidic, acidic. And of course that coconut uh, peat is, doesn't have that high of pH as well, but it's not, not extremely damaging for the roots as the moss is, I found. Whoops, there we go, yeah. As much as I can, I take off. Uh, I already sprayed this with this, uh, with a hydrogen peroxide. Yes, we did do that. <laughs> Let's grab a little bit of cinnamon. I'm going to do this the same way. No, I don't, I don't. Because I don't have any roots directly in front of that cut, like I had with the other one. So now I can do it like this, and this is a little bit easier. But still... Let me first put a little... Still, I'm going to turn it around and tap it a little bit. Well, I cannot see if something is coming off, so I didn't use too much. But you can see, there it goes. Cinnamon. I do get questions if I... Uh, cinnamon on this the cut so therefore i'm showing it now so so you know i yes i do dragon's blood i have as well most of the time it's just use cinnamon because i found it a little bit easier because it's dry but both work fine in my, if you ask okay me. oops <laughs> so there we are again um yeah i'm going to mainly use small pumice for this one but i will use a little bit of the bigger pumice just to uh keep this, uh, avoid this from going through the holes. So that's the first little layer. But because these uh, Miltonias have a, uh, have a small roots, I like to use the smaller pumice. And of course a water meter. This one is working as you can see, whoops. And let's put it in there. I'm reusing pots. I like to reuse them as much as I can. But this actually has there was a little bit of small pumice still in there. Did you see it? <laughs> so I use it as a filter now, pro apparently. Let's put a layer like this. Yes, there we are. Show it to you guys. It's such a beautiful media. I love it. Oh yeah, and of course, this one has a cable tie. As you can see, it's just uh, this a little hole in the pot and that is because this other part is a little bit deeper than the inner pot so as you can see now it will fall completely in taking that out with a plant in that uh, has all this media around it it's very hard so i found this to be a very cheap easy trick you can see there i can just can grab it and pull it and there she goes so that's why i use cable ties like this uh, yes, I think I'm ready. So let's grab the plant we just had on the table <laughs> and try to find a nice position. And we have new growth on the this side of the plant, but I'm keeping it fairly in the middle because we'll have one to this side and one to this side. So they have hopefully two years of growth here. I'm not sure. We shall see, but at least as much uh, room to let them grow on. And then we can uh, do an up potting. And now it's just basically, can you see that? Yes, I think you can. Just putting, uh, putting it up and putting the media in. Just slowly, maturely, <laughs> filling it up. Anyway, the small pumice is a bit dusty, so. If you hear me uh, blowing, that's why. <laughs> because of the dust. That's the only downside, if you ask me. And yes, you can flush it, but it will start to uh, come back because it's so small. 
it just breaks off a little bit every time it moves I think and that's creating the dust so I don't mind it that much but still just covering up nicely those roots there checking checking could have a little bit more here I have a bit of a sheet there I sh should have taken that off well, but I still can so I'm taking those sheets off because they are, were right in front where the new roots start now it's a bit easier for the plant to get those roots inside of the pot of course uh, but that is done and then we give this a top dressing of pebbles <laughs> to avoid a top dry layer and it just looks beautiful uh, if you ask me if you ask me it is now that should do let's give you guys a close-up look at that beautiful right and hopefully soon there will be some roots that we can see on the outer side of the pot who knows so let's put her in her new outer pot and there we go so that's the first one done let's grab the other one mm -hmm. so like i said in the other bit of this video i like to reuse pots but i also like to use containers some uh, this is some yogurt type of container and just burn holes in there in the uh, in the in the bottom and i just uh, did put some holes here not sure why i had these ones but i will use that one with a cable tie for the same reason we just uh, did discuss but yeah you can use different types of stuff that you probably have laying around and that's the beauty of this why not i mean this is the inner pot we're going to look at the outer pot more than the inner pot and i i like these uh, types of containers to be uh, to be honest they have a nice uh, width to them they are a bit deep but if you start an arcade in self-watering or uh, uh, self-watering you have a quite a bit of room for uh, using a reservoir and not have those old roots directly touching the reservoir if, the, if this starts to grow it grows into the reservoir that's okay but you don't want these types of uh, roots directly in sitting in water because they are not used to it so then a bit of deeper pot is uh, also very handy i think and let me take it out so we can see what i'm doing water meter again do we need a bigger pumice yes a little bit there we go there wasn't much smaller in there and now i'm just going to fill this up because it doesn't have that many roots here comes the dust again hmm. so i can uh, put in quite a few layers first like that and here we go just have a last look because i like to forget taking the sheets off like I had with the other one and with, <laughs> with this one so yeah that's I do this quite often but still I keep forgetting the sheets quite quite often I must admit oops just take them off make room for those beautiful new roots that we need because we did break the older ones <laughs> so badly there we go this is a nice example oops let's leave my finger <laughs> you can see i just took the sheet off a sheet off here and now when it starts to pushing out the roots it will fairly be close to the new media as in this case the one next to it as you can see it's just starting those beautiful new root tips so that's why taking off the sheets and this one already had those starting roots so if you take off a sheet just pull it down don't pull it upwards because if you 
pull it upwards you probably will break those beautiful new shooting roots there so just take it and pull it downwards like this and then you should be fine if you have to if you if you don't have to leave them there of course because it's always a risk as soon as you start poking around those roots but if you have to take a sheet off just pull it down i found that to be the most easiest way not to damage the new roots and just still be able to take off those uh, sheets let's see yeah this is a beautiful eyes you can see it's just touching the media now and we have way more room before it will uh, touch the uh, reservoir even though even though as you may have seen in other videos i don't put this directly or straight away create a reservoir for my new uh, just repotted orchids no, I'm going to water them like I sh probably sort of should have done if I had them in uh, organic media. Until I see new roots growing inside of the pots. And then I start filling up that reservoir. And since I do it like that, it's so, so much easier to let them adapt. It's the best tip, I, uh, best piece of advice that I can give you guys. Plus, another bit great tip is use seaweeds, kelp. Not much, just a teeny tiny bit, but they like it so much. And that's what I do. I flush them with oro water and just a bit of seaweed and that's it. And I water them with that as well. In between when they are still uh, 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 adapting to the system if I still see new roots on the side of the pot or going in there if those roots keep on continuing to grow and they really are in the pot I still water them with uh, our old water and a teeny tiny bit of seaweed and that's the first reservoir they get maybe a second time I only use a little bit of our old water just to tap it up and then when I think, well, there are probably quite a few more roots now, we can st start seeing uh, this as a, a root system in the pot there. Then I start uh, giving it a, a bit of fertilizer, just with my other orchids, because they don't feed much, they can have the same water. And they probably have still a bit of that RO water with seaweed in there, so it's very diluted, even though I put a, a bit of more fertilizer in there. I hope that does make sense. If it doesn't, please leave a comment, ask your questions. But that's how I, uh, I do it for years now and it works wonderfully well, wonderfully well. So, and yeah, I, of course, I need to put a top layer in there of pebbles before I forget. I almost did. <laughs> There we go. There we go, there we go. Just a little bit more. Here and there. A few there. And that should do the trick. Let's go back to the sink. We need to do one more thing and then they go outside. Well, inside the greenhouse. <laughs> So there we are again, back at the sink, and now it's probably one of the only, one of the few times to say that I am going to flush my orchids, as you probably know. But yeah, just to uh, have a little bit of that uh, seaweed inside of the pot already, and just to get uh, the last pieces of dust off, which sometimes happens a little bit, as we saw with the uh, small pumice. And here we go. Just cleaning up and like I said it's, uh, it's just a nice idea to have some uh, seaweed natural hormones in there already as soon as it starts to grow it will uh, will find them and they like it a lot just like that oh. so yeah like I said it's a nice sunny day today it's beautiful so yeah, I just turned on this fan off because otherwise it makes it does make a little bit too no, but no little up much noise. <laughs> and we have this dingling dingling dong outside there. 
just... I'm not sure, no, it's not in frame, but you probably can hear it in the background, but I hope it doesn't... Uh, is uh, too loud. Anyhow, look at this. Here they are, our beauties. Before I forget, we did talk about these flower spikes, and uh, yes, I did leave them on there. I think they, sh they are going to be okay, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to watch the bulbs. If, as soon as these start to shrivel, then I'm done, and here, this one, then I'm going to cut off the spikes for sure. But could be that they will take on, like mm, basically nothing had happened, but otherwise, like I said, I'm just going to watch and let the orchids tell me what to do. I'm not completely sure at this moment, Probably I should take uh, have taken off those bags because it's but still also that one had quite a few growing tips on the roots there I hope you could see them this one had uh, even more roots so it's may they both may be okay who knows I did the same thing with this one above it it's a fairly uh, big one this is the purple one the time before that I uh, also from Landsbergen that I went there for open house I bought this one and it was in spike and I just put it in here and it just took off and it makes even more it's starting to grow even more new growth we have one here and there so anyhow they are doing uh, pretty fine but yeah this is uh, one of the repottings like i said i'm not sure which uh, ones i'm going to do more but at least we we've, we've done one a beauty isn't this just a quick update at the blooms beautiful so anyhow as usual if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and of course for now maybe you want to give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching i hope to see you at the, the next one <laughs> bye bye